what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the best ways to spend your gems in rise of kingdoms now obviously gems are the premium currency in rise of kingdoms they are by far the hardest resource to obtain just by playing the game because typically you're going to get most of them through making purchases now with that being said you do get a lot of gems from in-game events from collecting them on the map from killing barbarians there's all sorts of ways to get gems just by playing the game and so if you guys are new to the game you might be thinking well how should i be spending these gems considering they're so hard to come by you know a lot of people really want to get the most value that they can out of those gems that they get for free so we're going to talk a little bit about what you should spend your gems on in a little bit uh, but first the main thing and the main purpose of me making this video is talking about when you should spend your gems meaning you can actually be spending gems on things that are useful to you um, but had you waited you could have been getting even more out of those purchases and the reason for this is i'm sure you figured out by the title um, the more than gems event now this event comes around periodically um, i don't know the rate with which this event comes around to me it comes around probably half as frequently as the recharge event maybe even less uh so we're looking at maybe once every two to three months at that point um it's hard to say it feels like this one is way sooner than the the one before it um so the amount of time between the previous more than gems and the current more than gems that you're seeing here feels like it was way less time than before but regardless this event is a two day long event that essentially will give you rewards if you spend your gems so you don't have to spend your gems on anything in particular it's just if you spend your gems you will get extra rewards and i'm sure you've seen this event if you've been playing the game for a little while or if you've seen other youtubers potentially talk about this event but there are a ton of different tiers here it starts at 300 then 1500 then 4000 7000 12000 25000 gems and this resets on the next day so you can see this is a two-day event resets at zero uh zero zero utc um so essentially if you spend twenty five thousand gems on one day and twenty five thousand gems on the second day that's fifty thousand gems you can get all of these rewards twice now that sounds like a lot of gems and if you're not spending money it is um fifty thousand gems over two days is crazy now it's it, it's interesting because if you're going to spend gems like this is the time to do it even if you aren't going to max out this this event um you're still going to get rewards for other tiers so if you're only spending let's say 10,000 gems or 12,000 gems um you're still going to reach this tier which is really really great you can see here that you do get some gold keys tons of experience speed ups legendary commander sculptures which are super super hard to come by um just for spending the gems that you could be spending anyway so i'm going to max out this event on both days i only have 15,794 gems i was hoping that uh, i would have more gems by the time that this came around and typically the way that i get enough gems to um to do these events to do this specific event is through the supply depot because the 30 day gem supply gets you a total of 19,500 gems um and you know like i said this event only comes around maybe once every other month so if you just save this entire month for two months um that's almost that's that's 40,000 gems right there and so the other 10,000 typically over two months you know you may get pretty close to getting 10,000 if you are killing a lot of barbarians doing a lot of gem farming um or depending on the events that are happening at that time so it's really uh, it's quite easy actually to um to max out this more than gems event if you're buying the 30-day gem supply and that's typically what i do um however i've been spending my gems a little bit more heavily than usual in the courier station because the mysterious merchant has a pretty good deal on speed ups and i am so close you guys to t5 that i have been buying speed ups in the mysterious merchant shop like crazy i have the rest of my current uh stirrups 
then I have plate armor 10 and then I have my first t5 unit so I've been spending a lot of gems lately which which is why I don't have enough gems to actually do this event um, plus I think I spent a decent amount of gems during last kvk if I remember correctly but mainly it's been on speed ups so I don't have enough gems to do this event um, but I'm so close to t5 that the that I'm gonna be spending gems anyway um, I might as well participate in this event and I highly encourage you guys again you can spend your gems on anything and we're gonna talk about what I should what I recommend you spend them on in just a minute um, but if you are playing rise of kingdoms and you want to get the most value out of the game don't spend your gems until this event and then just go crazy just spend 25,000 gems on one day or a ton of gems uh, on both days if you can if you have more than 25,000 um, but the key is to really to to not go past that 25,000 right especially on the first day because you're not going to get any rewards for that you might as well save them for the second day and this the purchase on the second day are going to count towards the second day's events right you can see i already spent 52 gems this day um just from the mysterious merchant but with that being said let's go ahead and make some purchases in the um in the shop here i i think i'm going to um buy, buy all the way up through the hundred dollar tier of fountain of wisdom um that's assuming that i see i should buy the 50 dollar a new world bundle because i do plan on migrating kingdoms very soon and i am running i'm really short on on passport pages if i can't go below 45 million power i'm gonna need 20 passport pages otherwise i'll only need 15. so i'll have to do the math here in a minute to see if i can maybe kill off some siege t4 siege anyway let's make some of these purchases so the goal right now is to get 35,000 gems right because i need 25 i need to spend 25,000 today and then i also need 25,000 tomorrow so i might as well do all the purchases in one day because if i wait till tomorrow to do the purchases for tomorrow's 25,000 the packs will reset so if you look in the um in the super value bundle shop um these reset uh i'm sorry these reset every single day especially fountain wisdom is the one i'm going to be buying so there's no point in having it reset i might as well get the most value out of it so let's start purchasing some fountain of wisdom bundles error what is that error all right so somehow i got a little bit of a uh looks like I got a little bit of a bonus from the Google Play Store so it's only 399 for the for the fountain of wisdom so let's go ahead and buy that why not right all right so we bought the five dollar bundle for fountain of wisdom again we're shooting for at least 50,000 gems total which means I have to buy at least 35,000 gems right now so let's go ahead and buy the ten dollar fountain of wisdom bundle um I wonder what happens if okay yeah let's go ahead and buy that all right so it looks like the ten dollar bundle was purchased i'm just gonna go and check my messages to make sure both of these are purchased properly okay let's go ahead and buy the twenty dollar fountain of wisdom what is this you earned silver you leveled up to google play point silver through the end of 2021 uh one point one points for every dollar spent wow great that's cool i don't really know what that means but we'll have to see um so we bought the 20 dollar bundle now we have to go ahead and buy the 50 dollar bundle fountain of wisdom these purchases are now getting a little bit expensive um you can see here what the rewards are so everyone in my alliance gets a silver chest those are actually pretty good um and then we get a ton of speed ups here um especially for research which is what i'm buying this bundle for um, we get a bunch of resources which is going to be really good for when i do end up migrating to a new kingdom i'll have a ton of resources saved up in tokens because if you guys didn't know when you do go ahead and uh migrate you have to get rid of all your resources except for your storehouse so let's go ahead and buy this 50 dollar bundle see where that puts us in in the uh, in, in terms of gems basically all right we are buying this bundle uh 50 bucks 50 bucks gosh gaming in 2020 am i right so i finally made the 50 dollar purchase uh and i always wondered when i watch other youtubers make purchases on this game um i always see them getting like their card gets declined or they have to call the bank or use a different card and i always wondered why it was such a big deal uh and now i'm in the same exact predicament i it, they there's so many security measures on secure on credit cards these days um but we finally got it we got through we got the 50 dollar bundle um so that's what that looks like you get 12,000 gems alliance silver chest ton of speed ups so we are at 35,644 gems right now um so that means we're 15,000 gems shy of going ahead and um 
uh basically being able to have enough gems to do this more than gems event all right i think i made up my mind i'm gonna go ahead and purchase the hundred dollar fountain of wisdom uh because i right now i really need the speed ups and i have some time to get more passport pages in if i do need more in order to migrate so i'm gonna go ahead and buy the hundred dollar fountain of wisdom um i'm only gonna buy it once i don't need to buy it uh three times i don't have to max purchase it um i should but i just don't think that that's a responsible purchase financially i don't think that i should be spending that much money on this game at this time so there we go uh purchase is complete um they are asking me for a donation for something i don't know what that is but i'm gonna go ahead and uh take a look here so if you buy the hundred dollar fountain of wisdom twenty five thousand gems alliance gold chest you get three days of speed ups plus all these other speed ups and then a ton of resources as well as VIP. So let's go ahead and see what we get from our gold chest that we just got for our alliance. Um, just so we can see what it is. Why not, right? Um, oh, nice. Even more speed up. So that's literally perfect. That's the best thing that I could have gotten um, for me at this time. So let's take a look. Now we have 60,000 gems. That means we have enough gems to go ahead and finish this event today and tomorrow i don't have to make any purchases tomorrow in order to finish this more than gems event with gems left over which is awesome that's the goal um i don't think i ever got duke did i i never got duke i'm, I'm just looking my, my troops aren't training here but anyway i'll do that in a second that's not the point of this video this point of the video is to tell you when you should buy or when you should spend gems and what you should spend them on so more than gems event is the time in fact that you should be spending your gems um what should you spend them on right what should you be spending your gems on they're so rare um if you're not spending a lot of money like they're hard to come by so how do you get the most value out of your gems well there's a couple of ways um the first thing that i would say is accum uh, spending your gems should be done um during the more than gems event obviously accumulating your gems should be done in two ways one if you're free to play just killing barbs doing events things like that if you're paying uh accumulating gems the way that i just showed you is probably the worst way to do it um the best way to get your gems is during a recharge event uh i haven't made a video on this topic before but there are tons of youtubers who have essentially a recharge event is a seven day event where if you make enough purchases each day for those seven days or i think it's five five out of the seven days um then you will get extra bonuses for making purchases so it's kind of the opposite of the more than gems event the more than gems event gives you bonuses for spending gems the recharge event gives you bonuses for getting more gems so you want to spend if you're planning on spending you want to spend during the recharge event what i just did in front of you was spend and i got no bonuses for that right i just i bought packs and that's it um in a perfect world i would have done those purchases over the course of a recharge event but it just so turns out that i uh i didn't have enough gems and i really want to participate right now in this more than gems event so that's how i would recommend accumulating gems and now let's talk about how you should spend them so right now i'm city hall 25 pushing t5 so for me um there's really only a couple of places that i should spend my gems um the first is in the mysterious merchants boutique shop you can get some really great deals on speed ups in here um unfortunately what you're looking at right now is four really bad deals on speed ups um if we do the math for this three hour one three times six is 18 so 900 divided by 18 is 50 gems per hour I don't think that's worth it because the VIP shop you can get 30 gems per hour so really nothing here is worth it but sometimes there are sometimes if you get 70 even 80 percent off on gem purchases for speed ups that's worth it for me if what you need is uh resources of course I would go for the 80 and 90 percent bundles up in this top row if you're going to spend gems and I really wouldn't recommend too much else in these these bottom two rows maybe if you're looking for like some you know blueprint fragments or some materials and they show up here for a good deal maybe do that um or you know if you see um maybe like some re some teleports that are really really like 40 50 60 percent off maybe that would be worth it if you're gonna need it for kvk um but ultimately really th th those are the only things that i would recommend for the shop uh, resources and uh speed ups from mysterious merchant and only if they're a good deal 
the second place that you can be spending your gems is the vip shop now this unfortunately doesn't reset until tomorrow so luckily for me um i can buy these eight hour speed ups tomorrow and that will count towards tomorrow's more than gems event which is great um in a perfect world i would have waited until today to buy these um and then tomorrow to buy them again so that way they both counted however i didn't think we would get a more than gems event today within the next two days when i made i made this purchase i think uh this morning actually um or last night and i didn't think we'd be getting a more than gems event anytime soon so i figured okay whatever i'm just gonna buy them i need them for my research um but i should have waited so lesson learned boys wait until the last day sorry boys and girls wait until the last day to make any purchases in the shop that are for gems and by last day i mean right here where it says refreshes in um the reason for that is because again you want to time it with a more than gems event if it shows up because again more than gems event is kind of random there's no set schedule and it never shows up on the event calendar so keep that in mind so that's the the another place that i would recommend spending gems is in the vip shop if there's things here that you need especially these eight hour speed ups or um the legendary commander sculptures maybe um but especially these 24 hour speed ups like that's where you really really are going to get some value if you really need um, more resources than you get from the mysterious merchant this also is a pretty good place to get resources if what it is uh, that you're doing is pushing for maybe um your um sorry your wall to 25 or city hall to 25 um you're really going to be running low on resources in that mid stage of the game so resources are really what you're going to need at that point and again vip shop and mysterious merchant once you've exhausted those two options odds are you didn't spend 25,000 gems right like it's just not really possible to spend 25,000 gems in the vip shop and mysterious merchant unless you're just going completely ham on everything in the vip shop which i don't really recommend unless you're low on like everything which i can't really imagine a scenario where that's your best option so the third thing that i would recommend and this is what i did for most of the more than gems event is buying books of the covenant for your castle um your castle is the hardest building to upgrade um to 25 because in order to do upgrades for this building um you need a certain number of books of covenant uh to do those upgrades so this is what they look like the last stage from 24 to 25 i think requires 20 i'm sorry 5,000 books of covenant the only way to get books of covenant is from buying them in the regular shop so not the vip shop but they're 10 gems each or you can get them randomly from barbarian forts um and the grind for these is real like it is super real now another way you could get them is from the special privilege vip chests so for example this one gives you 22,000 books of covenant which is super good um but i'm not a fan of buying those vip chests because i don't really know if i'm gonna max the commanders it's a big mo a money investment for just one commander that's not the best in the game so that's a topic for another video but for me um getting this to 25 was the bottleneck for pushing t5 research so every time a more than gems event came around i would spend most of my gems on books of covenant for my castle um and that's really what enabled me to get enough books in order to get it to castle level 25. so for a lot of players that's going to be a bottleneck because again when you attack a fort you might not even get books of covenant and if you do it might be one two couple just a few books of covenant here and there uh and you need 5,000, and that's just for 24 to 25 i think from 23 to 24 is like 2000 or 2500 or something like that so you're gonna need a ton of books of covenant if you're not buying the vip bundles then the only way you're gonna really get enough is from spending gems on them unless you really are grinding forts um with that being said if you already have your castle to 25 or maybe you're so far off from this and it doesn't really matter which again you should be thinking about it it will matter very soon but let's just say your castle is fully maxed and you've bought all you can in the shop and the, and the uh mysterious merchant what do you do then well vip 
vip is your best friend um this is what this is when you want to boost your vip um you really want to push to the next vip level during the more than gems event uh, and again i think books of covenant it depends on who you ask but books of the covenant should probably take priority over vip spending if you really do plan on going to t5 anytime soon if you're not in a rush you're just playing the game for fun you're just chilling maybe you know if you're close to the next vip level then push that for more than gems but um most people if you're really serious about the game eventually you're going to want to get t5 troops because they are the most powerful and it does take a long grind to get there so eventually you're gonna have to do that so i recommend probably books of the covenant after you get the deals from the courier and the vip shop um but again if you've already finished this then vip is your best friend every vip points i think is like one gem or something like that if we look here um yeah 5000 vip is 5000 gems so you can literally just convert your gems into vip points and every vip level gets you a couple of perks um when i go to vip 13 i'll get 25 percent extra hospital five troop health five percent troop health just across the board which is awesome um, and then I'll also be getting a, a slightly better VIP chest every single day. Um, and I'll have the ability to buy this, which I'm not going to most likely, but this, you know, from 12 to 13 is not that big of a deal. You get one more wood, stone, gold, and tomb of knowledge. The rest is the same, but for example, VIP 10, I think is the first time that you get a legendary commander sculpture and VIP 12 is the first time that you get two legendary commander sculptures every single day. So if you're close to those levels, um, highly recommend pushing for them because you're really going to see that value over time. Uh, the other one I think is VIP six, um, is the first time you unlock the second building queue. So early in the game, Put your gems into vip until you get to vip 6 as fast as possible then i would go for the uh courier station shop then i would go for books of covenant and then i would go for even more vip after that so let's go ahead and do that let's look at these uh, rewards here ton of good rewards i'm gonna actually go ahead and use my vip just because i want to see how many i can uh how many i can use so there we go we're getting close there boys <laughs> We're still quite a bit away actually but anyway let's go ahead and um spend some gems on vip right because i don't need to do the castle and i can't do the vip shop purchase that i want until tomorrow so uh i guess it's gems right it's just gonna be gems uh, to my vip so let's do um 5 10 15 we'll see where that puts me so those 15,000 gems got me the obviously the first tier easy you get two hours of speed ups not nothing really too crazy there um spending 1,500 gems got me a gold key which is nice 10,000 experience three hours of speed ups a little bit of resources very cool these stars are probably useful if you um are still leveling up some epics 4,000 gems is where things get a little bit more interesting, especially if you haven't maxed out your Epic Commanders yet. Um, 20,000 experience, a three hour speed up, some extra resources, and five gold stars, which is really cool. These gold stars are definitely hard to come by, so I will claim that gladly. The 7,000 spot is where you should be aiming if you're not going to be um, really max maxing out this event. The 7,000 gems is probably where you want to aim because this is where you get your legendary commander sculptures. You get five of them, plus you get two gold keys, which, you know, late game is not that great, but you can use them towards uh, the 201 gold key achievement, or you could uh, use them in your Lucerne scrolls, hoping that you can make maybe a summon happen that goes towards that event. Then we get 40,000 experience, six hours of speed up, some more resources. Very cool. The 12,000 one is, in my opinion, a little bit less interesting because no gold sculptures here, but you do get eight stars. So that's cool. 50,000 experience, a targeted teleport, which, you know, hey, 
those are what between 500 and a thousand gems depending on what you get them for in the uh mysterious merchant i don't know if i've ever seen them for 500 so it might be a little more so hey that's a pretty good value right there then we get nine hours of speed ups and even more resources and again i'm going to be migrating soon so these resources aren't that useful right now but when i migrate they're going to be huge so let's claim that and now we are about 10,000 gems away pretty much exactly from the next um from the base of the last tier for today and then we'll do this all again tomorrow so let's go ahead and do that um so we need 10,000 vip so let's go ahead and do it's a little less than 10,000 i don't again i don't want to overshoot it so we'll do five six seven eight nine and five um one two three four one two uh how close are we how close are we i need to spend about 30 more gems so 30 more vip 30 more vip vip one two and three <clears throat> boom and again like i said you really don't want to go over because those gems don't count towards anything whereas tomorrow they will and there it is eight uh legendary commander sculptures universal you can use them for anybody a hundred thousand experience three gold keys and then 15 hours of speed ups and then 10 of these level three pick one resource chests which is super cool now again the cool part about this event is not only are you getting um legendary commander sculptures which are hard to come by but you're getting all this for purchases that you probably should be making anyway right and and i don't mean like monetary purchases i just mean if you're gonna spend your gems just time it with this event and then spend them all at once and then you'll just be getting free rewards for those for those gem spends that you would have been doing anyway so we've claimed all the more than gems event for today um i'm i'm probably gonna post this video before i claim tomorrow's just because you know there's no point in me showing you tomorrow it's gonna be basically the same thing but i think this i hope that this video was useful for you um because you know i think a lot of players are confused as to where to spend their gems or maybe they know where but they don't know when is the best time they don't know about this event or they don't know like what they're going to need in the future so oh we got a belisarius cool so hopefully this video was useful i'm gonna open up these last few gold keys hopefully i get uh, a, a legendary commander summon for my lucerne scrolls but it looks like it's oh there it is we got mehmed he's not the one i wanted but it's okay it's towards my lucerne scroll so there we go nice little legendary commander to round it out right at the end very very cool um uh, so my lucerne scrolls i just need one more legendary commander summon uh in the next four five days and uh yeah we will be good there but anyway um guys if you enjoyed this video if you found it useful if you found me talking about gems very very valuable make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video comment down below with any questions that you have about this event the recharge event gems in general or rise of kingdoms um subscribe if you're new around here click that bell button to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace